Before I start this episode, I want to give a shout out to Natu Nation. He's doing a uh, day-by-day blog of his kittens that came into this world three days ago. Uh, I talked with him yesterday, and uh, here you go. I put the link to his his channel in the description below. Go check it out, and uh, hope you guys like it. Hey, everybody. It's Nelson Buck, and we don't have Jack today, so this is going to be interesting again. Um, it's going to be two or three days we're not going to have Jack here, so uh, interesting. Sorry about the lighting conditions. Uh, I'm trying to get the lighting done, set up, and, and going. Ouch, that's, that wasn't pleasant. And uh, I'm working today, so i got my t-shirt on, my jeans on. I'm working in the basement. I'm trying to get the basement organized, so I'm not, I don't look that good. But today I want to talk about YouTube's demonetization and what's going on. A few of you I talk to, I say get your, your YouTube videos going and then one question number one is how do I make money on YouTube and can I do it just on YouTube uh, um, um, ads or and then with the demonetization situation coming up the whole uh, crisis um, I'm going to explain to you real quick what's going on there so uh, yes you can make money with ads uh, it, it's not a huge amount you need to about a thousand views to make one to two dollars uh, so gives you an idea you need a million to make a thousand to two thousand uh, dollars per video per upload so yes you can make money uh, but it uh, it can it can be few and far between so uh, uh, you want to get into t-shirt advertising with logos and and uh, sales of coffee cups and stuff like that in your uh, your videos. You want to sell ebooks if you have your own ebook. You want to sell your own ebook. Myself, I run membership sites, so I tell people to go over to my membership site, just like down here, nelsonbuck.com, right here. You know, go there. It's a membership site. You know, um, I have mardox.com, which uh, we'll, we'll put on this side for today, mardox.com, and uh, those are two membership sites for which I make money on. So I make I make way less money on YouTube than I do on. Uh, my membership says, I'll give you an example. In the last two years, I've made $40 with AdWords, uh, Ads, Google AdSense. Now, granted, I don't have that much in terms of um, visibility yet. But in all, I got about $40 worth over two years. Over two years, my membership sites, I've made that hand over fist. So um, you do want to send people to buy your ebooks, sell uh, cups, coffee, uh, coffee cups, t shirts. Uh, uh, offline stuff you might want to get an Amazon reseller account or affiliate account so that you can do a video for example on how you do like for example if I do a video on how I do this montage with these cameras you know and explain to people how you know I got a camera over here that camera here my lighting and the fact that my if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see this here let's uh, let's do it this way here there you go I'm gonna do a dance Ooh, I'm gonna do a dance now but if you look here my hands lit up there's a lighting source behind my chair uh, I think you can see it on that camera there um, little things like that, and I do everything with stuff that I can get my hands on, twenty dollars or less. The tripod this camera's on, less than twenty bucks. Uh, I think it was one hundred and fifty for the whole set there, but it belongs to my daughter. But I'll get one like that tripod. This I, I got for free. The lighting uh, unit that I have, it's an extendable uh, tripod that goes up twenty feet, uh, twenty twenty four feet up. Uh, four great big five hundred watt lamps. Uh, which I'm going to change up for LED to take less power, but the cabling and all that, uh, the, the extension cords I use uh, come from uh, old pool pumps, for example. Okay, Now, let's say you wanted to do a video on how I do my setup, my camera setup, my, my videos. Uh, I would talk about the stuff and then say, okay, now go to Amazon, you get your extension cords here, your light bulbs here, your, your, your tripods, your uh, green screens, blue screen setups, backlights and I would put links to the stuff for Amazon in the description below the video and then people would click on it go buy it and I get a commission off of Amazon that's another way but the best way I, I like is blah 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 go to my site they sign up that's that, to me that is the best business model ever so person sees you they especially videos like this where I'm talking to camera and I'm talking to the people on camera uh, people see me, they go to the site, they hear my voice in the first videos. Thank you for signing up, blah, blah, blah. They get in, the tutorial's my voice, it's all me, all the way through. Even though it's it's more than me, the, the website, but you get my you get my idea. So, 
Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, nelsonbuck.com, and today we're going to put mardox.com uh, somewhere over here, right, right, right there, mardox.com, there. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, demonetization, says, yes, you can make money with YouTube, but you need a lot of, a lot of views and new subscribers. Um, w before I go to demonetization, I'm going to start uh, putting another person's YouTube channel uh, in the featured uh, videos, the featured channels on Mardox and on Nelson Buck. The future channels that are there, I'm going to list one. It's um, Daryl uh, Daryl Eves. He is an expert in YouTube marketing. I've been following him, and at the end cards and the end of this video, the um, the way I'm doing my footage, the way I'm talking, the tricks like count to three when you sit down, count to three before you stand up, uh, slower motioning than this. So when you, when you talk with your hands, some people talk too quick with their hands and it blurs out. Slower motioning, you know, you want to give the camera time to, to react, things like that. He talks about all that. He talks about how to do titles, keywords, descriptions, uh, traffic generation, linking, cross-linking, uh, collaboration. He does a lot of that. In one of the videos, I'll put his link to his most current video, the one that I caught him on, um, was where he talked about how where YouTube evolved from and where it's going forward and what you have to do in order to make it work. It's not broken. You just need to know how to use it. Okay, so um, demonetization. Uh, Google, in the last week or two now, uh, actually in the last week, past week, has had a lot of their financial um, backers, their uh, their sponsors, uh, pull out, take all their money out of YouTube and say, hasta luego. They said, you have problems with it, where our, our content, our ads are being shown on, um, on certain videos. Uh, and I don't want to say certain words because I don't want the system to uh, pick up the uh, translation, the um, uh, um, the text of what I'm saying, the text, the speech, the text. I don't want Google to pick it up, but there's certain religious um, uh, people that got offended, uh, as, as, uh, political, there were some terrorist uh, vi uh, supported videos, uh, videos supporting terrorism. Um, and uh, these companies like Coca-Cola, Walmart, and all these big ones said, we, would, we don't want our commercials, our ads being, see sorry, being seen on some of those videos. Therefore, we're going to pull out until you can make it so that we can show our, our ads where we want and you know all this terrorism stuff is going away. Um, nine of my videos have been demonetized. I don't know why. Uh, they don't talk about religion. They don't talk about uh, anything of the sort. In fact, it's the... Um, Baldi, at the beginning of our videos, our, our Mardox website, um, it is, yeah, in fact, right there, you'll see his, you'll see the video I'm talking about right there, you see, is that neat, look at this, I can put my hands there, and even though I, there's no video on the screen, go to post-production, I can say, there's the video, see, look, look at the pretty, look at the pretty video, look, look at the video, so anyhow, uh, <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this editing, once you get the equipment and the right stuff to do video editing, it is so fun. You know, once you figure out a, a nice editing software, I found a nice program that works on Linux and Windows. It's called KDen Live, and it works so good. Oh, but you need to you need to figure out how to do some things like, like like this the the, the video thing here I'm doing here. Woo! You know you need to figure out how to do this kind of stuff. Okay, so um, focus, 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 focus. Demonetization. The demonetization affects the creators. We're getting paid less now because there's less ads being shown because these other advertisers have left. They most likely will come back once YouTube gets the fixes put in place. But I know from talking to people behind the scenes, there is a lot of change that's going to go on in YouTube, such as foul language, uh, racist comments, racist uh, material, going even as far as PewDiePie, where... He wasn't racist. He did not say anything. Well, let's go back and uh, let, let me take a second here and explain to you what happened with PewDiePie. PewDiePie is a what is the biggest content creator on YouTube. He has 50 million plus followers, subscribers. He created a video where he had a, a couple of guys off of Fiverr write something on a board and put the board up and then laugh and dance about it. But he did this with a group of people, two guys that lived in like Cambodia or, or Kenya or something like that. They don't speak English. Um, so they, these guys got $5 US for writing something on a board, put it over the head and go, Dah. but it says, 
death to all Jews. And I'm only saying what's on the board. I, I'm not racist whatsoever. Uh, I don't agree with what he did whatsoever. I think that joke went way too far. But the media took that and said it was racist. It was anti-Semitic and ran with it. Had him kicked off uh, YouTube's premier, uh, premium uh, advertising uh, campaigns. Uh, YouTube Red dropped him. And um, uh, Walt Disney, which is, um, I'm trying to think of their, uh, their, 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 their maker studios, uh, they dropped him. So he's now an independent, like me right now, uh, running his, his channels. But because he did that, it wasn't to say death to old Jews and look, hey, that was funny to say that on a camera. It was to show the people on the internet that you could pay somebody, anybody, for anything on Fiverr. You can find anybody for $5, you can find anybody on Fiverr to do whatever you want them to do. There's somebody out there who'll do anything. And this was an example. He took it too far. It was a joke. It was it was a comedy. It was very dark comedy. I don't like the video that he did of it. I think that it really was a joke and not a lesson. It was after the fact. He said, I was trying to show people this. But because of content like this, the advertisers are now saying, we're out of here. We don't want to advertise on anything like this anymore. Uh, fix it or we're not coming back. So Coca-Cola, Pepsi... Uh, McDonald's is still there. McDonald's is still on YouTube. That, they're family friendly. Like, wow. So, you know, not everybody's gone. I, and I say McDonald's, I just saw the ad, the, 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 the ad for uh, McDonald's uh, a few minutes ago when I was watching uh, another channel. So, um, this is kind of weird today. No Jack here, and, I, uh, and, I, and it's going to feel weird for a couple of days. Nobody here, and I'm used to having somebody watching me. Like, you know, like, you know, I'm watching you, or, you know, now it's like, there's nobody there. Oh. Okay, so, demonetization, how is it going to affect us? Um, I know that my, nine of my videos got demonetized. I don't care. I, I, if I get money from YouTube, if I don't, doesn't matter to me. I do not, I do not do these videos whatsoever for the money. Yes, I monetize my videos because I'm not stupid. If and when I make money on it, great. I made a dollar, dollar and four cents yesterday because my videos were shown on YouTube Red and the regular people watching added up to a dollar, one dollar and four cents. So hey, if I do that every day, I got thirty dollars and change, thirty-one dollars, uh, thirty-two dollars in my pocket. So, um, Fugly, the channel for Fugly. Uh, um, where do I post it? I put it up here. I usually oh wow, I'm too far. I'm too far one way today. See, Jack's not here. I'm not set up. I, I, my chair should be moved over uh, that way. Yeah. See, everything's everything's reversed. You gotta understand. When I'm looking at the camera, I get this big screen behind me. When I look at the camera and I point like this, it's actually pointing in the opposite direction. <laughs> so everything's flipped around. So um, Fugly got his entire channel uh, demonetized. Now that hurts because he's living in Cancun. And he needs the money to survive over there. Um, and that that hurts. That hurts. But, granted, he doesn't have that many subscribers. Now, he's complaining because he's got 12 subscribers. 12. Not 12,000, 12 million. 12. 12. 1, 2. That's it. Um, and uh, he's saying, oh, I'm not getting monetized anymore. Yeah, well, um, that's the way it is, bud. But Fugly swears in all his videos. He says bleeping, uh, uh, stupid bleeping sheep all over his videos. Because of that, advertisers don't want to be seen on his videos, even though he talks about rants about people and, and stupid things that stupid people do. And stu you know, So uh, advertisers don't want to be shown on content that could be considered adult-related. Adult so I think what's going to happen is YouTube is going to cut down a lot of these racist, gay, lesbian channels Maybe not cut them off, but they're going to cut down on what's being circulated, which, oh my God, thank you. I'm not against gay, lesbian, whatever. If you're gay, you're lesbian, whatever, do what you want. It's your life, not mine. But please stop affecting me. I know there's gays and lesbians out there. Feminazis. Oh, the women out there who are claiming women's rights. Um, and, um, you know, they, they go, they go to the extreme 
I have four daughters and I'm all for equal rights. Um, in fact, I believe there's a lot of women that I see in the, in the workplace, like uh, I, I see the uh, graphic designers and video editors, they should get paid more than their bosses because their bosses sit there all day long going, is that job done yet? Is that, is that, is that one done? Hey, 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 is that done over there? You know, that's all they do. Meanwhile, they're sitting there and they're editing. I do my own editing for my own videos. Oh my God, 10 minute video, 20, two hours of editing. You know, an hour of editing. No, it's about an hour, an hour of editing, 45 minutes of editing, not to mention uploading and programming all the keywords. Um, monetization. So what's gonna happen is, I think is, their, YouTube is gonna take, is gonna uh, cut down on how much feminism, anti-feminist, uh, feminazi videos, uh, racist videos, um, uh, terrorism videos. Uh, I know they're, they, they want to get rid of all the gun videos. My lord, wow, there's a lot of gun videos and swearing. The, the, the people that do commentary, that they have to swear every other word. I watch um, uh, Pyrocynical and I watch uh, Leafy's here. Pyrocynical, he's cut down on his swearing. But Leafy, every sentence has to have a swear word. Oh, wow, it's like... Uh, I won't even put their links in the description, but if you look at my subscriptions, you'll see Leafy's here, and uh, you can go watch one or two of his videos, but uh, wow, it's, um, wow, <laughs> you know, so they're gonna start cutting down on those, so I think what's gonna happen is the advertisers are gonna, are gonna come back, the content creators are gonna get smarter and go, hey, we've gotta cut down the swearing, and you know, we're gonna be smart about this. I'm not swearing in these, in, in these, uh, these videos. I don't need to swear, right, Jack? This is awkward, really awkward. I, I, I gotta get a full-size poster of Jack. Put it behind the camera, there you go. So, okay, um, with that said, we're going on. You see, if Jack was here, we'd know Jack, it was 20 minutes, you see? 20 minutes, I, I did a video for 20 minutes. But no, you're not there. Ugh. Okay, 20 minute video, thanks for watching. Uh, just the, the, a, a quick week, uh, the last thing, uh, anybody who subscribed to Open Chat, another channel that we used to run, if you're subscribed over there, you want to come over here and subscribe or on it to Mardox Plus. I'm closing down Open Chat uh, today, tomorrow, today or tomorrow. I got to download the videos and uh, and then close it. I will be deleting the, cha the, the channel most likely. No, I, no, I'm not going to be deleting the channel. I'm going to put one video up that's just going to be the, the entry video and telling people to switch over. Uh, but it will get deleted at some point when there's just no more traffic on it. So with that said, I'll let you guys go. You, everybody have a great day. If you liked the video you just watched, then I ask you to please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Also share this video with your friends. I upload to my channel almost every day. On the left, there's the most recent video I uploaded and our bloopers. So, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.